During the 1970s, Kansas City was home to a one Robert Berdello, a former art student, chef, and owner of a small business located in the Westport Flea Market. Berdello was active within the community, even assisting in the neighborhood watch programs. However, he possessed a sinister side. Starting in the early 80s, Berdella preyed upon young men in Kansas City, kidnapping, torturing, raping, and killing at least six known victims. Robert Berdella would become known as the Kansas City Butcher. Berdella's victims were mostly men he was acquainted with, some being male prostitutes. He would pick them up or invite them to his house under false pretenses and incapacitate them with sedatives or brute force. Berdella tied and gagged his victims, keeping them sedated with various drugs and tranquilizers if they resisted or became unruly. He tortured his victims in horrific ways, including chemical injections, beatings with blunt objects, rape, electrocution on various parts of the body, and applying caustic chemicals to their eyes, creating excruciating pain and blindness. He approached his appalling torture with the intensity of a scientist conducting experiments with logged details of each sadistic act, including each victim's reaction, all written in code or shorthand within his notebook. Berdella earned the moniker, the Kansas City Butcher, due to his practice of extensively dissecting his victims' bodies. Hanging each victim upside down, he cut them open to drain them of their blood. Dismembering the corpses with a chainsaw, he wrapped each part in a plastic bag and put them in the garbage for trash collection. Some say he even fed portions to his dogs. In addition to the written logs of his crimes, Bordella took numerous Polaroid pictures of his battered and bleeding victims, often shirtless or nude, with collars around their necks, gags in their mouths, and restraints around their wrists. The final victim, Christopher Bryan gained enough trust from Berdella to have his hands tied in front of him as opposed to either side of the bedpost. While Robert was gone, Bryan managed to break free from his restraints and escape by jumping from a second floor window of the house, wearing only a dog collar around his neck and breaking a bone in his foot in the process. Bryan eventually reached a neighboring house where occupants contact the police. Ryan's actions led to the arrest and conviction of this monster in regards to multiple counts of murder. As an act of avoiding the death penalty, Berdella confessed to his crimes and was sent to the state penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri for the rest of his life. Although Berdella died in prison in 1992 due to a heart attack, his atrocious crimes still cast a dark shadow over Kansas City to this day.